My name is Gina and I'm from Organised by Gina, that's my company name, and I feel that the value that I add is I create simplicity, functionality and order to your world. Organised by Gina is all about simplifying and making people's lives easier within their homes. So what I'm able to do for them is um, when their mind is clouded and stressed about a certain area within their homes, that's where I come in and I assist you with that. Um, Reorganising your pantry, uh, your wardrobe, colour coding, things like that. Love, you know, the, the ladies love that kind of thing. Um, my forte being helping the elderly when they're downscale or when they lost their loved ones, their spouses, because um, it's very difficult to um, deal with their lost, with their loved ones' items and so on, and they are not able to part with that. Um, also, when um, people get divorced, especially the, the gentlemen, they they find it very difficult to continue running their homes without their spouse. Um, so that's where I come in and I assist them in making sure that everything runs smoothly at home, um, stocking up their refrigerators, making sure that their children things are in ready for when they go to school the next day. Um, just making sure that their, their homes run as smoothly as possible because they at work, the last thing they want to do is have to worry about things like that. And a lot of people, yes, a lot of people say, but you know, they've got friends and family. It's all very well to say that, but that's the first month or two, then the reality comes in. People go back to their lives. They, not everybody has family and friends around to help, so it is a service that I provide and I, I, I take a lot of pride in what I do. I go that extra mile for people. Um, I pay a lot of attention to detail and um, you know, it's very important to have empathy and compassion within this line of work um, because you de you, you're working with, within somebody's home. So it's a, a very private and um, you, it's almost like an invasion of privacy that some people look at it in that way. Um, but you get to know the person um, and you work with them as well when you're decluttering um, because a lot of people hoard a lot and um, it's, it's difficult to let go of sentimental things. But you know, um, what also resonates with me is that there's so much need in our country at the moment, well, within the whole world. Um, whatever you don't make use of, there's always somebody else that needs it. So we donate to charities, we donate to those that, within the churches, we donate to all those people that we know that they need. And that's the beauty of it is whatever you don't want or don't need, I will then take it to the charities and, and get rid of your, your items. I've always found it very rewarding to help others. Um, it's something that I really enjoy doing. I do it within my group of friends and with my family. I've always do, done that. And, um, uh, and uh, my own experience, and which unfortunately I went through, I lost somebody within my family, and there was a lot of organising and a lot of uh, paperwork and packing up and so on and so, on and so forth. That was many years ago, but I think that was something that um, it was a, a seed that was planted. And um, I've always been a very organised person. I can't function if I'm not organised. So I thought, why not help somebody else do it? And um, I enjoy being with people. I enjoy relating to people's um, difficulties. And um, so that's what I really enjoy. There's nothing more rewarding for me than um, doing something for somebody and it's made their life happier and easier. When people find out what I do, um, they're all for it. They say, wow, what an amazing service it is for you, you know, for me. Why didn't I think of that before? Um, but then obviously there's costs in, involved because nobody does anything for, any, for nothing. So, and of, and of course, with COVID um, uh, affecting us, these last years have been very tough on, on everybody. Everybody's business has suffered, everybody's um, home life has suffered. Um, and in my business, people do procrastinate about why should I um, hire someone, I'll do it myself. 
but they never get to do it. So that's where I come in and assist them with that. So they procrastinate about sorting out their garage or their pantry or their closet or their children's playroom. It's always a mess. Or um, in, in today's days, a lot of people are working from home, so they have their children's books all over the place. What I like to do is come in and create a special area for the children to work in so that their items are there, um, it's personalised for them, they know that that's their space, they feel mom and dad don't have to come and interfere um, and they can be uh, proactive and productive within their schoolwork. Working with people um, is not an easy task. Um, so what you do for one client doesn't, and if the client is happy, it doesn't mean it's going to happen with the next client. Because you may feel that you've done your work the way you feel fit, but one client might be happy, but the next client might not. Um, so that is where I grow a lot, is I learn from my clients in, and I gain experience on a daily basis. Because um, it's important for me to know how my business is growing and I interact with my clients. So once I've done, the, once I've completed the project, I do um, then communicate with my client and I say, I ask them for a review and I also ask them to point out anything that they weren't happy with because it's imperative for our businesses to grow, knowing that your client is happy or unhappy because that, you can only grow from that. So if they're unhappy, they tell you what they're unhappy with and you grow from that and you learn. You do more research or you ask them about it. Um, and um, I also, I, I work on my own mostly, but um, I like to employ um, young students. First of all, it gives them an opportunity to open, to be more open-minded. Um, they've also got a lot of stamina within them because this is a strenuous job and they've got a lot of rumour within them. Although at times, uh, sometimes I find that the youngsters today are not, like, not quite what we were in the, in the, back in the days, um, but we've got to give them the opportunity. And um, we have to support small businesses as much as we can. Um, and networking is also very uh, important within small businesses. Um, it is vital that we support each other, especially as women. Um, you know, women tend to have their claws out there for each other. That's not the way it should be. There's enough for everybody to go around. That's my firm belief. So guys, um, I'm able to simplify your lives. Um, lots of attention to detail. No task is too hard and um, you're able to get hold of me on my website www.organisedbygina.com on Instagram and on Facebook and I'm here to help you.